some people don't know that it's wrong. Some people don't understand, hey, this is not biblical, but they're never gonna hear a message about it. My name is Elijah Weiss. My name is Caleb Wad. Today we have a pretty heavy topic for you. So then what is your opinion on the churches selling, celebrating Christmas? And what's your opinion on it? Um, I feel like it's very easy to start veering away yeah. from what Christmas is about. And you got to ask yourself, the church has to ask yourself, like, okay, what is our goal here? And I feel like a lot of times we get into this kind of easy formation, like this, this common routine almost. Like, all right, as soon as December hits, the whole church is going to be decorated for Christmas. Everyone's going to have to, you know, have, you know, we have a little tree. Like Everyone is going to support a kid. We're going to talk about providing for families in need. We're going to go to work, go back to church. Like, it, it's, it's like a routine every single year. I feel like the thing with the church is we get so caught up in the routine that it's like we forget, okay, what are we really doing? And so I think it's easy to start slipping into that Christmas mindset. Like, okay, now we're going to have to buy a lot of gifts, spend a lot of money. My credit card statement next month is going to be crazy. And that's just how it's going to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like, honestly, I feel like that's for every holiday, though. It's true. It is. Like, even Easter, like, everybody goes to church, wears their big hats. And it's like, where were y'all last Sunday? Type, like, Facts. where have y'all been at? All yeah. year, like, and I feel like it's so, like, like, I feel like we should live a life of giving. 100%. Like, we shouldn't just live a life to where we only give on Christmas. We should live a life to where, like, we see somebody at the grocery store and we're like, God tells us to give them 100 bucks and we just do it. Yeah. yeah. I feel like 100% because it's so easy to train ourselves to be like, when this when this time of day gets there, yeah. we're going to do this. When this time of the year gets here, we're going to do this. And I feel like, honestly, American in general, America in general gets into this whole, this is our year. This is going to happen here. 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 And the church has kind of absorbed that and made it like, okay, as the church, this is going to happen here, this is going to happen here, this is going to happen here. If you go read, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I want to be clear. There's Traditions are going to happen. I think tradition is important. I think order is important. I think routine is important at yeah. some level. But when you read in Acts, it talks about like when the early church was starting, everyone was giving. Everyone was as one body, sharing their possessions, giving to the poor, selling their things and giving it to the church. That was their lifestyle. Yeah. We're not living that type of lifestyle. I'm not living that type of lifestyle the best way that I could be. And I 100% agree, we get into this mindset where it's like, okay, only on Christmas are we gonna have Christmas spirit. Yeah. Give it this time, do this and do that. Why are we not doing that all the time? Exactly, exactly, 100%. Especially with the, you brought up the seasons of the church. And I, I remember I told you, I was like, bro, it's like, Cause I went out of town to Houston and I was like, bro, I went to another church and they're basically talking about the same, same thing. thing bro. Like it's literally a season, like, like during the Christmas time, you're going to hear a Christmas story. You're going to hear the churches talking about it. Valentine's day, you're going to talk about love, like Easter, you're going to talk about Easter, all that stuff. And like, yeah. it's not even just the holidays. It'd be like week long sermon topics that you're hearing about. And it's like every church does it. It's, true. it's like they're stuck in this like routine, I guess. Sure. It's crazy. And and part of that I think is because that's the way our culture is trained, it's almost the church's job to be on par with that. Because if the culture is talking about love at the time, I think the church its job is to flush out, okay, well they're talking about love at this level. Let's talk about real love. But I think we get into like you're saying routine where it almost becomes a bad thing where every single church is talking about the, the same thing. And, and it's, not a, it's not a bad thing to all talk about the same thing, but it's a bad thing when you're not preaching 
on what God's telling you to preach on. You're preaching about, okay, this person's preaching about this. This is going on now. Let's do this. Yeah, 100%. And that's something I think as a church in America, we got to get better at. We have to understand, like, it's not okay, bro. Like, I agree. God put this on your heart. You need to preach about this. Somebody out there needs to hear about this. Yeah. And I think that's something we really got to get better at. No, I 100% agree. And I don't know what the fix is. I don't know what that looks like, but I think I think you're 100% right because the more that we conform to this routine, yeah. the more we take that away from God. God, I would say this, through my experience, through experiences I've heard, through reading the Bible, God is not a God of this is going to happen this way every single time. God is the type yeah. of God where you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. You know, we, we were talking about yesterday at church, um, talking about trusting in God and how, how sometimes he can give you pain or bad things that can turn into discipline. We don't know what God is doing. Whenever Paul was in prison with Silas, he didn't know what God was doing, but he trusted in the Lord and, and trusted that God had a plan and look at what happened through that, you know? And so I feel like it, us as, as, Christians need to do the same in the way that we preach, the way that we are on stage, the way that we speak to our congregation. We need to trust the Lord. We need to trust that, okay, God's telling us to do this. You know what? I understand it's Valentine's Day and everyone else is talking about love. But God told me to talk about this. So talk about it. And I feel like a lot of times in the church, we get so caught up in this is how it's supposed to be that we forget that there's people in the seats that really are going through something or don't understand, and they're not hearing the messages they need to hear. You know, it's very common in our culture, in our generation, crystals and zodiac signs and yeah. all that stuff. Some people don't know that it's wrong. Some people don't understand, hey, this is not biblical, but they've never heard a message about it. And so here they are coming to Sunday every week. They're coming to church. They're sitting in the pews, sitting in the seats, and they're hearing these messages that are good. They're, they're biblical teachings. And, and I believe that through those biblical teachings, hopefully they go and learn on their own, and eventually they will find that that's not biblical. But we shouldn't just leave it up to that yeah. because people need to hear. Like there's so, so much of an influence from our culture on our generation that I think it's the church's job to influence them through the Bible. And I don't think we do the best job of doing that. I remember I heard a pastor once, um, he said, if you're a Christian, you're counterculture, mm. like off the bat. And I feel like nowadays churches are trying to accept the culture. 100%. Like I've seen, I mean, I'll be scrolling on Instagram and we'll see a church that, you know, supports all these zodiac signs, all this cultural stuff, you know, like, where is that in the Bible? I'm like, where, where can I find this stuff at? You know what I'm saying? Show like, me, please. Yeah, like, please show me where this is all mixing up at. But the, we're trying to be too much like the culture and not trying to be enough like Jesus. 100%. Like, we're trying to fit in with the, the mold of the culture when in reality we were, like, made to be more like Jesus. Jesus stood out in the crowd. Jesus yeah. was counterculture. Facts. And I feel like that's something that as a church body in America, or I don't really know what it's like overseas, but in America we have to develop this sense of these are lost souls and we need to show them what Jesus' love is like. We need to show them what the true life is like Yeah. instead of letting them worship all these other things. Yeah. Show them this is the right path that you need to go on. This is where Jesus is at and I'm trying to take you there. Yeah, because I see it all the time in churches to where somebody will walk in with crystals, and I'm like, hmm, it's a little <laughs> interesting. And then, but then the pastor doesn't talk about it, so nothing ever gets said. And I'm guilty of it too. Like that should be my place to go up there and give them a message, not yell at them, not be like, oh, this is horrible of stuff. Course, you yeah. can't do it. But to be able to go up to them and be like, hey, Jesus loves you. I love you. The church loves you. But this isn't right. And sometimes Here. they don't even know that it's wrong. Yeah, exactly. And should, if they just get simply told that, hey, this isn't right, that sometimes could be simply enough. That's it yes. that they need to hear. 
oh, really? I didn't realize. I, I saw this and this and saw I do this. No, I, I completely get it. But this is actually the right. And then, boom, right then and there, problem solved. Especially during this, like, um, Christmas time, whenever every, all the sermons are about, you know, I'm not saying that's not important, but all the sermons are about the birth of Jesus Christ. And you're hearing all these things about, oh, make sure, you know, the Grinch doesn't get you or stuff like that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I feel like in this season is really our job as a church body to make sure that souls are still saved. Because the devil doesn't stop working. Yeah. God doesn't stop working. But God needs a vessel to move through. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's almost like we begin to get shades on our eyes. Yeah. We begin to get, you know, like this. Like, okay, this is what we need to talk about. Christmas. And then it starts being like this. And 100%, I feel like the devil is still working. And honestly, I feel like the devil can use that to his advantage because we're over here focusing on presents, gifts, giving, instead of focusing on the light, the truth, the giving of his, his life for us. You know what I'm saying? Like Jesus truly is or should be the reason for the season. And it's up to us to make that the case because Jesus is the reason for every season. Jesus should be the reason for you to wake up in the morning. Jesus should be the reason for you to go to the store yeah. and tell that person about God. Jesus should be the reason for you to go to the bank, take out $500 and give it to someone because God simply told you to. So yes, Jesus is the reason for Christmas, but Jesus is also the reason for every other thing that we do. And I feel like it's so easy to get caught up in this Christmas time attitude. And, and I 100% agree, it's up to the church to, to kind of break that. and to still reach the lost souls, to still preach the gospel, not just the birth of Jesus, but the life of Jesus and the death and resurrection of Jesus. That's our job as the church and as Christians. I just feel like, you know, the church as a whole, we really got, we just got to do better in general of just, like, it's a season of our life and I think seasons are very important, but God still needs to be at the center. Yeah. God is still the center of it all. God is still the way, the truth, and the light. Like He has to be in the middle of every season. Everything that we do, God has to be in the middle of it. Yeah. Through Christmas, Easter, Valentine's, Thanksgiving, all of it, God needs to be in the middle. 100%. Well, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I want to encourage you. Go check out our channel. We have a lot of different videos about biblical teachings and Jewish roots of the church. And our newest episode titled Hanukkah is not a Jewish Christmas just came out. Go check it out. If you've ever wondered about Hanukkah, I want to encourage you. Go, go click the video. I'm sure you'll learn. I learned from the video. And until next time, Shalom and God bless.